Howdy, me Bart here, and welcome. And was trying to do the series for Make a Game, but I'm gonna go ahead and restart it. Start with a fresh slate. I have completely uninstalled every bit of Epic Game stuff and gone back to the new version of 419. And I'm gonna start from scratch from there. So if you're following along with the, the last uh, series, I do apologize, but had some technical difficulties, so I reinstalled everything from scratch, and we're starting anew. So as you see, I have no projects whatsoever, fresh install, and I have all of these assets that we're going to work with, and what I'm going to do is, starting with what we have is a brand new blank project, but since if you're not familiar with the game Paragon, which I'm not actually, um, Epic has decided to release a lot of the assets from the game since apparently they're going to be closing the game down. Um, if you're a Paragon fan, I'm sorry if I'm offending anybody on this, but I don't know anything about the game. So you've got a huge asset system here with a lot of uh, different stuff. That's cool and you've got a lot of the characters, the announcer, minions, uh, god there's so much stuff and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and create a new game based off of all of these assets that are available free of charge and you'll notice there's a free tab right there once you click on that you can actually go through and there is a bunch of stuff everything from the animation starter pack um, open world demo collection is good uh, the Infinity Blade stuff, really good. May or may not use it in this project. The Infinity Blade weapons, effects. I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff that's available for free. So, we're going to load this project up with a lot of assets, but, you know, I think it'll be worth it in the long run to see what we can do with entirely free assets. And, of course, if you don't know anything about Unreal Engine 4, it's free. Um, you can just go to the website, download the uh, Epic Game Launcher or Epic Games Launcher, and download Unreal Engine 4, or absolutely free of charge, for making your own games. So, what I'm going to do, and I'm going to be starting and stopping along this first video, because it's going to take a while to start loading in some of these assets. So, to start off with, once you've got everything installed, you're going to want to go ahead and launch the engine and you're gonna have to wait for it to come up the first time and what we're going to do is create a new project and you'll see here in just a moment as soon as it comes up we're gonna create it as a third person template however we're probably gonna make this into a first person game with third person available also and we'll show you how to convert your camera system over so that you use the third person but you can have a first person view. The reason we're going to do that is this game is going to be multiplayer. So you'll be able to, to actually have your friends join you and play this game as well. So it's going to find some of my other assets and other projects that I have stored elsewhere on my other hard drive. And, you know, didn't really care if it did that or not. I'm not going to use those for right now. Um, I would like to go ahead and use a simple multiplayer, but I'm not for this just simply because I want to start from scratch and get rolling. So, let's go ahead and get it open. So the first time you run it and you, you launch it, it's going to open up just the editor and it's going to ask you what you want to load. And if this is your first time ever using Unreal Engine 4, you're not going to have any projects at all. You'll have nothing there. I have not downloaded, even though they're already in my vault, I haven't downloaded the files for any of these assets that are down here. So this is going to be a first time run for everything. And all I really want to do on this first video is go ahead and get the editor up and running the first time. And start preparing our file structure for how I would like my game to be so I can get an improved workflow and the upside to having all of these assets is you've got a lot of cool things you can work with 
The downside is it's really easy to get lost in the ooh shiny phase. There's going to be a lot of stuff there. You're going to, oh, I really want to use this. I really want to use that. Slow down. Take your time. Think about what you want to do and focus on one feature at a time. Get it working and then move on to the next feature. You can do all of the core mechanics first and then go back in and polish it up more later, which is one way of doing it, or you can just get it flawless to begin with. Probably not really going to happen, but... Alright, so when it does come up, we want to go ahead and hit New Project. And, you see, you've got a bunch of different options from blank, first person, flying, handheld, AR, puzzle, rolling, side-scroller, 2D side-scroller, third person, which is what we're going to use, top-down, twin-stick shooter, vehicle, virtual reality, and advanced vehicle. So with this, I'm going to start it up with no starter content. I'm going to use desktop console and maximum uh, quality. And we're going to give our project a name. This is going to be, oh, let's call it Paragon tutorial sounds lovely so we're gonna go ahead and create the project and it'll bring it up the very first time and you can see that I've got the other two templates here one's for 416 one's for 418 it's not a problem I'm not gonna be running those at all right now um, just simply because I gotta update the plugins for the simple multiplayer but okay we got this now, once it's up and running, I'm going to go ahead and just click right here to show or hide the source panel so I can get this view. And over here, you've got all this lovely stuff. We're really not worried about this map right now, uh, but just for giggles, I usually end up getting rid of the documentation actor. You can click on it in the map, or you can click on it here. I don't want it. I'm going to hit delete key. The text render. I don't really need that, so I'm going to get rid of that. Um, yeah, we'll just leave it at this, and we'll save current. Now, from here, I want to start setting up my folder structure the way that I want it to be. So I'm going to go to my content folder, and I'm going to create a new folder. And we're going to call this characters. I'm going to go inside of that. And what we're going to do is start creating some other folders, which we're going to have um, player, and we're going to have NPC, which is non-player characters. And the next thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and just continue creating my file structure. So I'm also going to come in here, and I'm going to create three more folders. I'm going to create mesh going to create materials and we want to create the final one is going to be mm, blueprints and essentially you're going to do the same thing for the player we're going to have a blueprints to start off with and we're also going to want to come in here and go to the content, create a new folder, and we're going to call this UMG. And UMG is going to be for our menu systems and game modes and things like that. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder called, um, start off with widgets. and another one called Game Modes. Hmm, I think that's good for now. And inside the Game Modes, we want to look inside the third person BP. We have the blueprints here. We're going to take the Game Mode, third person Game Mode, and we're going to move that into the Game Modes in our UMG folder. And then our third person character, we're going to go ahead and move that into our player blueprints inside of the characters folder. And we're going to rename third person character to player underscore 
base and this will become more evident later of why you want to do this and one thing I also forgot is inside our map we can get rid of our third person character we're not going to need that as well so I'll save that again and we're not going to need the maps folder in third person BP so the next thing we're going to want to do is come back over here we want to create a new folder called maps and what I'm going to do is create a test map just for the sake of it we're going to have some other maps as well and let's go ahead and create a new level by selecting file and then new level we're going to use VR basic and I want to clean out some of the guts in here so we're going to grab this by the ball on ball and then shift left click to select all of these down for the cubes and then we're going to control left click to also select the pyramid and hit delete key so we can get rid of all that extra stuff here we're going to take our player um, right here our player spawn point and we're just going to move it over here to the corner it doesn't have to be perfect for right now alright so that's good and just because I'm weird I'm gonna go ahead and take these two guys and I'm gonna shove them underground and on the in untitled I wanna go ahead and right click create a new folder called map stuff and I'm gonna take all of this and I'm gonna shove that inside there and I, all I did was I control uh, or shift left clicked put everything in there and left click to drag it in so it cleans up this we've got this essentially cleaned up since we are no longer in the map that we started on we can actually come over here to our content and now get rid of our third person BP and it is gone the third person folder you've got meshes well we're not really going to use those meshes at all or that uh, material so also we can get rid of our third person folder at Argon we're going to leave the geometry the mannequin and the maps now even though in, in geometry there's only a couple little things here we're just gonna leave them in here for now so to kind of recap of what we have here um, and another thing you want to do is since we've created this new map here come to our world settings and game mode override we want to uh, click on here select third person game mode and then on the selected game mode we want to make sure that it's using our player underscore base everything here looks good so we're going to do save all and we're going to give our map a name and put it in the maps folder we're going to call this lobby map so now this is our lobby map this is where we're going to come to once we come into our game and this is our primary map now we're going to change that later and we're going to do some other stuff but we're going to recap a lot of stuff that was in the, the prior series and again I'm sorry restarting that series all over again but I want to start getting some asset packs installed in here so I will start that process and again if you're not familiar with how to get those then all you have to do is go to the marketplace select free and it's not really gonna hurt anything right now to let me find one that I haven't got already in click add to cart and it will add it to your cart and then I would say get all of the uh, the Paragon stuff because that's primarily what we're going to be using in this is the Paragon stuff and then click on your, your shopping cart and then select check out it's all free there's no credit card or anything else involved it's just gonna have to go through that process and once you've got all those it'll put it into your vault inside the library so what I'm going to start off with is I'm going to go ahead and I know that it's going to be a pretty hefty download but we're going to start off with Shinbi 
we're going to add to project paragon tutorial and add now it's going to queue it up it's going to be 871 megabytes it's going to take a while so bear with it and another thing you can do as well if you want to add any more right now we're i'm just going to start off with that one but you could also go ahead and say okay i want to do um it doesn't really matter you can pick any of them and go ahead and select add to project do the same thing we just did for Shinbi and it will put a queue and whenever Shinbi finishes downloading and, and setting up in the project it will then go ahead and do the same thing download and insert into the project so since this is going to take a while we're going to end video one here so thanks for watching and we'll see you soon